You perform in the mecca of dance in America. You've been a performer for many years in New York. That must have been a, an extraordinary feeling. I can remember walking to class in New York with my backpack or my shoulder bag and just looking around me and saying, I'm a dancer in New York City right now. I'm walking to class. That's right. I'm from Edmonton. Like, I'm from Edmonton. I'm going to perform at City Center. I, oh, I w it seemed almost unreal even while it was happening. It, it seemed like the feeling of it almost being too good to be true. I mean, I still have this feeling a lot, but I just, yeah, it's, it's, it was surprising and beautiful and overwhelming. And, and actually in New York, there was so much room for people who didn't quite fit in. This is one of the things as I'm looking back, because in a smaller dance community, which Toronto was at that time, it seems if you weren't quite right for just what was happening, you were quite far out. Then I went to New York and there was so much happening and there were so many unusual creators who were very interested in me. It was wonderful. And in all the little odd, strange <laughs> um, details of my, myself as an artist. I will not talk to you about engagement and about excellence, because I think that this is part of your daily life, those criteria yeah. of giving the best of yourself. That's all there is. That's what you want to do every, every moment, is just rise to that. Well, and, and what is that? It's your most authentic. What, what, what you have to share that is really the closest to the bone. It's not about doing things on the outside that appear to be so, so excellent or good. For me, it's really, it's really about that. It's about taking every person that you encounter very seriously and deeply and speaking to them from the core of yourself and bringing, bringing yourself with everything you have at the moment of the interaction, whether it's a performance or a conversation or a class or just a question. And what is the best advice you were given in your life? I've heard this from many different people in many different ways, and now I find myself speaking, <laughs> saying this to other people too, is to know that you have something unique and significant. And no one else has what you have to bring. And you, so you, therefore you must bring that thing. You must bring that into the world. And what is the advice you give to the young artist you feel that really have everything to do with? Yeah. Keep choosing things that are meaningful to you. If it's something that you feel like, I, I need to do that, um, and, and I would almost say only do things that you care about. Like find the things you care about because every time you do something, that you cared about in that way, it will lead you to other things that are of great, great consequence to your own development and to the, to the people around you, to the art form, to the community that you live in.